26-year-old Kezia Karanja goes about preparing her beauty shop for the day. Karanja and her colleague Rebecca Atuti, both private school teachers, pooled their financial resources and began this business two months ago at the onset of the nationwide lockdown in Kenya. The teachers, who both teach humanities, make an average of $10 in sales each day. However, Karanja says that due to the fact that both are on indefinite unpaid leave from their jobs, finding the money to keep their shop running is quite the challenge. We don't have enough stock to, so that you can sell the products. You see, when you are starting a business, you should have enough stock so that you can sell to the customers. But you are having challenges that uh, when you, someone comes for a certain product, you don't have because you don't have the money to, to have the stock. In mid-March, the government suspended learning in all institutions in a bid to stem the spread of COVID-19. While public school teachers are still drawing their salaries, many private school teachers are not. Peter Ndoro, the chief executive officer at KPSA, wants the government to offer financial support to the private schools. Ndoro told VOA that about 1,400 teachers have lost their jobs as a result of the closure of schools. The rest are on unpaid leave. During this period, what is it that will be happening? There will be no revenue coming in. But private schools closed because they wanted Kenya to be safe heading to the president's call that all schools should be closed. So what is it that needs to be done? These institutions need to be supported by the government. With a workforce of around 300,000 teachers, private schools have requested a $7 million grant to pay salaries and offset mounting costs. Zach Kenudia, the Education Chief Administrative Secretary, says the request is under consideration. We can say that they want to be removed from a gridlock that is almost uh, decimating them. It can be considered at higher levels and agreements can be made. You know there is no money, you know taxes are not being collected uh, as they used to. We are struggling to get uh, income. But just something can be done so that we also save them. For now, Karanja and thousands of other teachers drawn from private schools across the country are turning to alternative sources of income and vocations to support their families. Lenny Rovaga for VOA News, Nairobi.